Hi, I'm Shane Delia from Maha and St Catharines. We're here at Coles in Bulldogs Heartland, Melbourne's West. I brought with me some of my favourite kitchen hands to cook some healthy menu options using Mission products. Come on boys, let's get in the store and see what we need. Perfect, let's go. Alright boys, choose your weapon. Here we go. We're on a mission. Fantastic. That's a wrap. Alright boys, back to St. Catharines, we'll cook something up. Alright, we're back at St. Cat's, got all our stuff from Coles, our mission tacos, and what we're going to put together is a really simple, warm, sort of taco pulled pork thingy. It's yeah. going to be beautiful. So what we've done is we cook some pork overnight, you want to grab a bit of that, Easton, and start putting your bits of beast together. Sweet we're going to mix it with um, a roast peanut mayonnaise. So, Ralph, if you want to start mixing up a little bit of that peanut butter, um, a little bit of mayonnaise, some soy sauce, and that's all going to come together and make a really tasty sort of gooey mess. Is that, is that enough, mate? Or I reckon a bit more. A little bit more. Big boy like you. Big boy. Oh. Um, so <laughs> some of the roast pork, a little bit of fried Got chalots. Got some of the pork in there. This is pretty good. I'm just going to test this just quickly. Yeah, yeah, have a bit of a taste. And we've just slowly cooked that overnight, um, rubbed in a little bit of spice, 100 mm. degrees until it's fallen apart. But you could it's use pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. Pass the <laughs> test. You could use whatever you want. You know, if you've got some leftover roast lamb or some chicken, no problem. We've got a little. Stop licking your fingers. I'm not allowed to do that. No, you can use a, use a spoon there. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of shallots in there. Some um, some uh, spring oh. onions. Not enough. Yeah, plenty. A little bit of chili. We will hit it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Some of that. Yeah, a bit of coriander. How you going, Rafi? Mate, I'm killing it over killing here. It. <laughs> um, let's get a, a bit of that in there. Give it a big mix. Go on. Mate, lucky. Come on, mate. Don't mate, lucky. Don't you can a bit. Get in there. Sorry, mate. A bit more. Go on. Bit more. Don't be shy. We'll get it all in there. Go on, one more. And <laughs> give, it a, give it a bit of a mix. And what we're going to do is we're going to fill up our little taco shells. I've got some of this gorgeous little pickled cabbage. We're going to put some over the top, some cheese in the oven so it all melts together, and a really tasty dinner or something to eat after the game. Sounds great. How's that looking? It's looking pretty good. Amazing! <laughs> you could be a chef, mate. <laughs> if the football career doesn't kick off for you, excuse the pun. <laughs> pun not intended. <laughs> so, you know, just beautiful little bit of meat in there. You can do one of those. Too easy. Sorry to not include your roughy. Oh, I'm used to it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Why sitting up in the forward line all by yourself? <laughs> <laughs> a bit of cabbage, some cheese, and one of those in the oven. Gonna be the one of the tastiest little tacos you've eaten. How's that looking? Oh, look, you know, it'll pass. <laughs> I just, I just get that out. Mate, honestly, it's not gonna be enough <laughs> for us. So, a bit of that. Mm. Like that. And if you want, do me a favour, I think just put that in that oven over there. Stick it in the oven for five minutes. And it's done. Oh, well, Shane, you something I prepared earlier. <laughs> oh, yeah, these are. So, um, look, just in the oven for about three minutes until they're melted and nice and warm inside. Yeah, there's another plate. You know, it's a nice snack when you've got some mates over. What do you say for the game? we're going to do is something really simple, a cold dish that you can put in your lunchbox or you boys can eat after, the, after training. So it's uh, roast chicken with basil and corn, a little bit of torn wild rocket and some almonds. So if you want to start smashing up that corn, this is something you could do in a food processor, but because uh, I've got big boys here today, I thought we'd use their, use their arms and make them work for a bit. So me, enough, mate. Good more. me and Easton can just take it easy. Come on, mate. Whenever you're ready. Go too slow for hour. Yeah, you are. You are. Yeah, come on. Is that enough? Yeah, yeah. mate, we've got all day, it's fine, so you just sort of <laughs> smash up a little bit. You can do this one a bit as well. You can use the water and pestle a little bit, man. That's the first time for everything. If I don't watch myself, he's going to knock me on the head with it. <laughs> Alright, a couple of spoons of that mayonnaise in there. And you want something moist in the wrap. You know, a lot of times when I've had wraps, they're always really dry, so that's why we're using the mayonnaise. You don't want to have too much, you can put a few kilos on like me, but. Um, it is great to keep the, the roll nice and moist. That looks so good. <laughs> Alright, so, you just put that down. What we'll do is a little bit of that 
on the base. If you want to start assembling your app, try to keep it away from the edges because what happens is it all just falls out later. Alrighty. Do one for you here as well, Joe. I'm all for you, mate. Yeah. <laughs> did you say tear the rocket or am I tearing the tear the basil? Tear the basil. Look, the basil's always going to release a little bit of flavour when you tear it. You know, a lot of people chop herbs and they chop the hell out of them and then they, all the flavour just ends up in the chopping board. So we tend to always grab the herbs and just tear them. You can do that too, mate. I'm not making yours. Yeah. A um, little bit of chicken. You want to space it all out. Some mm. of those shaved onions. Yeah, yeah. And I think almonds always go really nicely with corn. Look, obviously, with a lot of dietary restrictions these days, if you don't want to put uh, almonds in it, you don't have to. A little bit of rocket over the top. Get it away with you. All right. A little bit of salt. A little bit of salt. And what you want to do is fold the edges in, not too tight so you don't break the wrap, and then just pull it together. So okay. you end up with a... Oh, like you've it. done this before. Oh. You've done. Well, that, that's. Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that's better than yours. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> and a simple little uh, dish that you can do any day of the week. For all today's recipes, you can jump on www.shanedelia.com.au for all the info, what's happening in the restaurants, and all the stuff we're doing with the boys down at the dogs.